Hello, my friends. It is Monday, the week of my birthday, and I've been thinking a lot about what my journey this particular year has been. It started last year with um, pulling meat out of my diet and then eventually pulling dairy out of my diet and all animal products out of my diet. And, and then also dipping a bit into minimalism and the idea of just kind of clearing out what it is that you don't need and making space in your home and in your mind and in your finances and your life for um, just clarity to come in and for you to invite in maybe something else that you really feel like is essential in your life. So you'll never know that by my part. I'm partnered and this is my partner's junk in this room. I do apologize for that. I'm working on that. But as far as my stuff is concerned and, um, and the rest of my home, I am doing a lot of clearing of things out. And, um, and that really is something that um, leads into this next um, topic that I wanted to talk to you about today, which has to do with um, the idea of, you know, just making space, really just making space um, in every area. So that includes um, not being so damn busy all the time and, you know, making space in your calendar, making space in your life for um, you to hear your own voice speak for you to cut out all of the um, multitude of activities that you have going on at any given time that kind of suck the life out of you if you're a personality like me and take your attention away from things that really um, are essential to what you value and what you feel is um, at the core of who you are and what you feel like your life's purpose is. We can't get to that if you have so much stuff going on all the time that um, you're constantly distracted. And we live in a culture that feeds that distraction. And there's a part of me, and I'm not at all a conspiracy theorist. However, I do feel like there's a part of me that feels like a lot of that is really intentional. You know, the more distracted we are as a culture, the less focused we'll be on um, repairing the things that are uh, intentionally not right in our culture that are coming from the top down. So that might be um, just how sick we are all the time because the food that we eat is not the kind of food that we should be eating. It, it's not prepared well. It's, it's got so many chemicals and preservatives. It has all kinds of additives and things that are actually making us sick. And then we connect that to all the... Um, ads that are out right now from the pharmaceutical companies that are telling us that we need their drug, you know? Um, and so there are just so many different ways I could go on and on with examples of how the idea of us not paying attention is allowing for things to be happening to us that if we were more observant, if we had the time to actually ask the important questions that these things would not be occurring. So um, so I'm just thinking about, you know, the journey that I've been on um, for my, you know, um, 51 years of life, I guess, and um, really more as of late in the last recent years, um, just what it all means and what it has meant for me in my, um, in this, you know, recent time. And uh, I, I think that um, I'm glad that I am where I am. I hope that I continue to be on this path to um, more and more awareness and that I can share that out and hopefully it will inspire someone to uh, look at your own life and, and maybe you might find areas where you may want to make some changes or you may find areas where you want to just kind of do some mild adjusting. Some people want to do major life makeovers. Some people just kind of feel like they want to tweak some things. Personally, I feel like I'm always learning and I'm always, always in a space for um, needing improvement. I think as long as we have breath, we can always do things differently. As long as we have breath, we can always uh, find space for improvement. So um, for me, I don't expect that I will ever get to my 
um, highest self before I die, but I do feel really excited to be on that journey and just, just moving in that direction. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope that you had a good day today. I hope that you continue to have a good rest of your week. I will be blessing you in whatever way that I can from the place that I'm in to the place that you are. And I wish you health and, um, and peace.